Chapter 1. The quality of your attitude will define the level of your success in life. Shiv Kira tells the story of a man who sold balloons at fairs. Whenever he arrived at a fair and wanted to make his presence known to the children present, he released several colorful helium-filled balloons into the air. When the children saw the colorful balloons, they all ran to him to buy one. One day, a boy walked up to the balloon seller and asked if a black balloon would also fly if the man released it. Moved by the boy's curiosity, the seller replied the balloon would indeed fly because all that matters is its content, not its color. The same goes for our lives. It is what is inside that counts. The thing inside of us that elevates us in life is our attitude. Attitude applies to every area of life, personal and professional. No one can be a good CEO, parent, student, teacher, employer, or employee without the right outlook. The cornerstone of success, regardless of your chosen field, is attitude. Our outlook defines how we view a setback. To a positive thinker, it can be a stepping stone to achievement. To a negative thinker, it can be a barrier. Shiv Kira. The upsides of having a positive attitude are numerous. A positive outlook increases productivity, breeds loyalty, reduces stress, and makes for a pleasing personality. It also fosters better relationships with employers, employees, and customers. A negative outlook, on the other hand, creates bitterness, resentment, a purposeless life, and ill health. People with a bad attitude have a hard time keeping jobs, marriage, friendships, and relationships. How do negative outlooks develop? Generally, our attitude and outlook on life develop at a young age during our formative years. Our environment, experience, and education during this period of our lives are the main factors that determine our attitudes. Fortunately, a negative attitude acquired in our childhood doesn't mean we are doomed to live like that forever. We can change our outlook for the best, even though it won't come easy. With willingness, discipline, and dedication, we can build and maintain a positive outlook. The next chapter will reveal the essential steps to creating a positive attitude. By the end of this summary, you will be able to build character traits that yield long-term success, increase your self-esteem, and live your life with a clear direction in mind. Chapter 2. To refine your attitude, you must let go of the past and accept responsibility for your behavior. As adults, no matter the kind of environment we grew up in or our education and experience, we are solely responsible for our attitudes. We have to accept responsibility and stop moaning about the cards life has dealt. It is up to us to choose our outlook every morning. We must hold ourselves accountable for our behavior and actions. People with negative attitudes will blame the universe, their parents, teachers, spouse, the economy, and the government for their failures. They'll blame anybody else but themselves. You have to let go of the past, put your dreams together, and move forward. By thinking of things that are true, honest, and good, you'll be able to achieve a positive state of mind. To build and maintain a positive attitude, Shiv Kira recommends that you follow these steps. Step 1. Stay positive. Focus on the good things in life. Start keeping an eye out for what is right about a situation or a person rather than noticing what is wrong. If you go around looking for things that are wrong, you will find many. There is something positive in every situation and every person, but sometimes we have to look beyond the surface to see the positive because it may not be apparent. Step 2. Do it now. Procrastination leads to a negative attitude. Procrastinating usually fatigues you more than the effort it takes to do the task. A completed task is energizing and satisfying. An incomplete task is exhausting. If you want to develop and maintain a positive attitude, create a habit of living in the present and getting things done now. Step 3. Be grateful. Count your blessings, not your troubles. Take time to bask in the beauty of nature. We are so focused on whining about things we don't have that we forget the things we have. There is so much to be grateful for.
Step 4. Learn every day. The education we're talking about here isn't academic, but value education. Take every opportunity you have to develop your fundamental traits of character, such as honesty, compassion, courage, and responsibility. A morally educated person will be a lot better equipped to succeed in life than a morally bankrupt person with excellent academic qualifications. The greatest revelation of my generation is that humans can change their lives by changing their attitudes of mind. William James Step 5. Start your day with a positive. Every morning, read or listen to something positive. After a good night's rest, we are relaxed and our minds are receptive. Waking up to something optimistic puts us in a great frame of mind to make every day a positive one. Practice having positive thoughts and behavior every day until they become a habit. Chapter 3. To achieve success, you must adopt the character traits common to successful individuals. Success is the consequence of attitude, and attitude is a choice. Hence, success doesn't happen by accident. It's a matter of choice. If we look at the lives of accomplished people, we'll discover that they have certain qualities in common, no matter their background. Success leaves clues, and if we note and adopt the qualities of accomplished people, we'll be successful. Success is no mystery, but simply the result of consistently applying some basic principles. The opposite is just as true. Failure is merely a result of making a few mistakes over and over. So, what makes a person successful? How do we define success? Well, success is subjective. To some people, success might mean wealth. To others, it is recognition, good health, good family, happiness, satisfaction, and peace of mind. Nevertheless, the measure of true success is the feeling of knowing you've done your job well and have achieved your goals. Success in life is determined by how you're doing relative to your capabilities, not how you're doing compared to others. Successful people compete against themselves. They break their own records and keep improving regularly. Here are some character traits of successful people that you should seek to acquire. 1. Desire. The motivation to succeed arises from the burning desire to achieve a purpose. According to Shiv Kira, a burning desire is the origin of all accomplishments. Just like a small fire cannot give much heat, a weak desire cannot yield great results. 2. Commitment. Playing to win requires commitment. If you're going to win at the game of life, you must be prepared to pay the price. Winners condition and commit themselves to winning. Success isn't a measure of how high we go up in life, but of how many times we rise on our feet when we fall. Shiv Kira. 3. Responsibility. Successful people accept responsibilities. They determine their own destiny in life through their decision-making. Accepting responsibilities involves taking calculated risks and being accountable, which is sometimes uncomfortable. It means assessing all the pros and cons, then taking the most suitable decision or action. Responsible people don't sit in their comfort zones thinking that the world owes them a living. 4. Hard work. Nobody runs into success by accident. Success takes a lot of preparation and character. It takes sacrifice and self-discipline. There is no substitute for hard work. Did you know? Researchers at Stanford University found in a 2018 brain scan study that our central nervous system works better when we cultivate positive attitudes. So by refining your perspectives, you can enhance the way your brain functions and give yourself an edge in life. Chapter 4. Being successful requires you to identify and constantly strengthen your motivation. Most people already know what to do to succeed in life, but they aren't doing it. Why? Because they lack motivation. When there's no motivation to take the necessary actions needed to be successful, reading thousands of self-help books and attending seminars will make no difference. Motivation is something that ignites action or feeling. It can entice, convince, and drive you into action. Motivation is the leading powerhouse of our lives. It stems from a desire to succeed. 
Without success, life often becomes a lopsided wheel, giving a bumpy ride. There is no enjoyment or excitement at work or at home. One major enemy of motivation is complacency. Complacency leads to frustration, and when people are frustrated, they give up on life because they cannot identify what is important. There are two broad classes of motivation, external and internal. External motivation comes from outside, money, societal approval, fame, or fear. Examples of external motivation are fear of flunking out of college and getting fired at work. Conversely, internal motivation comes from within, pride, sense of achievement, responsibility, and belief. It is the inner gratification that comes from being fulfilled. It is a sense of fulfillment rather than just achieving a goal. It is impossible to get such feelings from reaching an unworthy goal. Your internal motivation is your drive and attitude, Shiv Kira. Unlike external motivation, internal motivation is lasting because it comes from within and translates to self-motivation. For you to be successful, you need to identify and constantly strengthen your motivation. Put your goals into writing, keep them in front of you, and read them every day. The greatest motivation comes from one's belief system. You must instill in yourself the belief that you are responsible for your actions and behaviors. When we accept responsibility, our outlook on life becomes positive. We become more productive and our relationships improve. Life becomes more meaningful and fulfilled. Chapter 5. High self-esteem is essential for success. No one can go beyond the boundaries of their self-concept. Our self-esteem, how we feel about ourselves, is a significant determinant of how far we'll go in life. Our view of ourselves critically impacts everything from our performance at work and relationships to our accomplishments. In essence, high self-esteem leads to a happy, gratifying, and purposeful life. For you to have high self-esteem, you must see yourself as worthwhile. The stories of great leaders throughout history have proven that you must be internally driven in order to be successful. There is a direct relationship between our feelings and productivity. When we feel good about ourselves and see ourselves in a positive light, our productivity goes up. We generally transfer our unconscious self-worth to others, and they respond to us accordingly. People with high self-esteem grow in conviction, confidence, and willingness to accept responsibility. They have an optimistic view of life, generally better relationships, and fulfilling lives. They are motivated, ambitious, and highly productive. They are open to new opportunities and challenges. According to Shiv Kira, the best way to build positive self-esteem is to do something positive for others who cannot repay you in cash or kind. Altruism and championing good causes build self-worth. When you help others wholeheartedly, without expecting them to help you, you get a great feeling of gratification. This feeling signifies high self-esteem. Giving without having expectations or getting anything in return boosts one's self-esteem. Shiv Kira Developing a positive mindset can also help you build self-esteem. Bitterness is a sign of emotional failure. It paralyzes our capacity to do good and destroys our self-image. So, resolve to be happy. Look for the positive in every person and every situation. Forgive yourself and others. Don't hold guilt or bear grudges. Lastly, develop the habit of giving yourself positive self-talk. Our behavior and self-image generally reflect our belief system. Positive affirmations influence our subconscious mind and what we believe, which, in turn, shape our self-worth. Make it a habit to always say to yourself positive statements such as, I can handle it. I have all that I need to be successful. I am good enough. I always look at the positive. What we assert to ourselves over and over again eventually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Chapter 6 Living without a clear direction and destination in mind is a recipe for frustration and unhappiness. 
On the sunniest day, the most powerful magnifying glass will not light paper if you keep moving it. But if you focus and keep the glass fixed on a spot, the paper will ignite. That is the power of concentration. The same goes for our lives. To live a fulfilled life, we must have a distinct destination. We must have clear goals. Most people confuse goals with dreams and wishes. If you ask them what their primary objective in life is, they'll probably give you a vague answer such as, I want to be successful, happy, make a good living. And that is it. None of these are clear goals. They're all wishes. Dreams and wishes are mere desires, and desires are weak and feeble. Desires become strong only when supported by direction, dedication, determination, discipline, and deadlines. Goals are dreams with a deadline and an action plan. Goals without action are empty dreams. Actions turn dreams into goals. Shiv Kira. Your goals must be smart. 1. S. Be specific. For example, saying, I want to be financially independent is nothing but wishful thinking. You must have a clear target when you set a specific goal, such as, I will save up $10,000 before the end of the year. 2. M. To be able to accomplish your goal, it must be measurable. Setting a quantifiable will ensure that you will keep track of your progress. 3. A. Set achievable goals. They can be challenging, but they shouldn't be too far out of reach. 4. R. Impractical goals often result in frustration. Make sure that everything you set to achieve is realistic. 5. T. Timing is essential to accomplishment, so when you set a goal, make sure there is a due date to achieving it. Just like a camera must focus on taking a clear picture, we need goals to live a productive and fulfilled life. Goals are the foundation of purpose in life. They are the origin of prosperity. Aim for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amid the stars. Conclusion the quality of your attitude determines how successful your life will be. Our attitude is the one thing inside us that elevates us in life. It is the key to success in any endeavor. People who go about with a nasty outlook on life find it hard to cultivate meaningful relationships and achieve their goals. Being bitter and all too eager to tell people off will yield nothing good but foster resentment, loneliness, and ill health. If you cultivate great attitudes and have a positive outlook on life, you will be happier, healthier, more content, and more productive. While our perspectives majorly develop during our childhood, we are responsible for our actions and behavior as adults. The fact that you grew up in an environment that encouraged a negative perspective doesn't mean you should continue living like that. You can change your outlook for the best. You can set yourself up for success and fulfillment in life. Will a change of attitude be easy? No, but with willingness, discipline, and dedication, you can build and maintain a positive one. Accept responsibility. Focus on the positive. Avoid procrastination. Be grateful for every moment, and you'll see your perspective take a positive turn. With a positive perspective, focus, high self-esteem, and hard work, Nothing can get in your way of winning in life. Sure, there will always be challenges, but remember, success is less of how high we go up in life and more of how many times we bounce back when we fall. Try this. Goals are essential for a successful life. We need goals to be focused and productive. This action plan will get you started on setting meaningful goals and seeing them through. 1. Make definite goals. 2. Write them down. 3. Read your goals every day. 4. Make goals slightly out of reach but not out of sight. 5. Check your progress from time to time.